Food Waste Disposer Installation Guide. You'll find important installation safety information in the Insincorator Disposer ICU Manual. Make sure you read and understand the instructions before you attempt installation. First, we'll show you how to install the disposer in an existing kitchen. Then, at the end, we'll show you the additional steps needed to replace an old disposer. You'll need these tools. A screwdriver, a pipe wrench, hammer, hacksaw and pliers. The first step is to disconnect the trap and horizontal extension pipe from the vertical extension pipe. Next, remove the strainer assembly. You may need to clean the horizontal drain pipe that runs to the main waste pipe to eliminate any possible blockage. You're now ready for the actual installation. First, using the supplied wrenchette, disengage the top mounting ring from the main disposer unit. Separate the parts of the mounting assembly, then loosen the screws on the mounting assembly until they are level with the mounting ring. The assembly will now come apart easily by simply prying off the snap ring. After scraping the sink drain hole clean of any putty or corking, apply the rubber washer to the sink flange and press it firmly in place to make a secure watertight seal. To attach the upper mounting assembly, slip the rubber washer up and over the sink flange sleeve. While holding the backup ring with one hand, place the mounting ring with its three screws on the sink sleeve. Then slide the snap ring onto the sleeve until it pops into place. Finally, tighten the three mounting screws so that the assembly is seated evenly and tightly against the sink. To install the air switch push button bellows, you may need to consult a specialist before carefully drilling a 32 mm hole in the worktop at the most convenient point of use. Next, push one end of the PVC tubing onto the spout of the push button bellows. Feed the other end of the tube through the hole in the worktop. And through the nut and washer underneath. Fit the push button bellows in the hole and then screw up the nut and washer underneath the worktop until it's hand tight. To connect the button to the waste disposer, simply take the other end of the air tube and push it over the spout of the air switch, which is located on the underside of the disposer. If there's a dishwasher, you'll want to make a connection to the disposer. Knock out the molded plug with a hammer and screwdriver, and then remove the plug from the disposer. Now connect the disposer to the mounting assembly. Lift the disposer into position with the three mounting tabs lined up with the sink mounting assembly screws. Turn it right until the tabs are engaged. All Evolution models in the Insincorator range have an anti-vibration tailpipe mount, which means you'll need to use the supplied drain pipe and spring clamp. Connect the elbow pipe or straight pipe if you're in Australia to the disposer discharge coupler. Secure with the spring type hose clamp. If the supplied drain pipe and spring clamp is not used, the warranty will be void. Rotate the disposer until it's aligned with the drain trap. Then tighten the slip nut on the trap and the connection is made. Make the dishwasher connection, then lock the disposer in place. Now for the electrical connections. If there's already an earth-grounded electrical socket under the sink, simply plug the waste disposer in and switch on. If not, a power supply socket should be installed by a qualified electrician. Insert the quiet collar sink baffle into the sink opening. Finally, check for leaks. Simply place the supplied stopper in the sink and fill it with water. Remove the stopper and check all plumbing connections for leaks. That's all there is to installing a food waste disposer. If you do have any technical questions or installation problems, simply call our customer service line. All numbers are available in the service agency listing booklet.
Replacing an existing disposer is identical except for these additional first steps. Again, it's vital that you read and understand safety and installation instructions in the Insincorator Disposer ICU Manual. Firstly, and very importantly, unplug the old disposer from the electrical supply, then use a pipe wrench or a pair of channel locks to disconnect the drain line at the disposer discharge tube. The old disposer will probably have the same mounting as the new one. If this is the case, simply disconnect the disposer using the wrench head tools supplied. If the old disposer has a different mounting, use the pliers or adjustable wrench to remove the mounting ring nuts. And detach the air switch. From here, the installation procedure is exactly as you've seen earlier in this video.